In today's video, we will learn how to read out infrared signals with the use of an Arduino Uno. Every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials will include IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world! My name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. So in today's video, we will learn how to read out infrared signals with the use of an Arduino Uno and in next week's video, which will be at the end of this video, we will learn how to send back our received values. In order to receive infrared signals, we will be needing an infrared receiver. Most of the time they are located within your Arduino starter kit, which you can buy through the link in the description or individually, which is also in the description down below. Once you have an infrared receiver, you can hook this one up to your Arduino like is shown on screen now. Make sure you check what kind of infra infrared receiver you have. If it looks like this one, you have, to you have to hook it up like so. Or if it looks like this one, you have to wire it like so. In order to speak to our infrared receiver, we will have to make use of a library called IR Remote. You can download the library through the link supplied in the description down below or follow me to this page, then select download, extra extract the files or unzip them and drag the file IR remote to our library folder in Arduino which is located inside our documents folder. Now that's over, we can start coding. Let's start by including our IR, IR remote like so and let's add in an integer for our receiving pin from our schematic which, which is pin 11. After we created our pin, we have to make it so that our pin can be readable by adding in this line. And now for our results that we will have to receive, add in this line. Now let's go to our setup and add in a ser serial begin of 9600. And now to enable our receiver, we have to add in this line. Onto our loop, let's create an if statement and check for the received results. Inside our if statement, we can simply print them out like so. The hex part will enable us to read out the value in hexadecimals. Now add in one more line so that our infrared receiver will resume with receiving for the, with receiving for the next value. And outside our if statement, we write a delay to finish things off. Now let's run this and grab ourselves the standard remote that is delivered within the Arduino starter kit or any other kind of remote. Again, link is in the description. And if we open up our serial monitor, we can press one we can press one button and see as the hexadecimal values come in. Now before we can start sending out uh, sending out our own infrared signals, we have to find out the code type of these signals. We do this by adding in an integer called code type with a negative value. Now let's create ourselves a void and call it in our loop by adding this line in our void loop and passing on our results as a, par as a parameter. Next up is creating our void check type. Let's do that now. Now let's fill up our code type with the result like so. To check our code type, let's create an if statement and let's check on the values like so. So it will check on unknown, GVC, Sony and Panasonic. Now, it's, now if it's one of these, it will enter the if statement and execute the next lines we will add in here, which will be a serial print. Now let's check for another code type, which will be more interesting for us. This will be the code type of our remote. Now let's add in a last else statement in case it doesn't find any of our other options or if you're using another kind of remote. Now let's run this and as you can see the code type of our remote is NEC which we will be using in our next video which should be on screen right now. If you don't have an Arduino Uno or starter kit yet or you would like one extra then I'm happy to let you know that I'll be giving away a new one. To take part check out the link in the upper right corner now or the link in the description. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.